I am a wealth coach and a property investor and today we are going to discuss about why should you buy your property investment portfolios in a company's name rather than in your own name. That's quite important and uh, you need to understand why should we do it okay so before we proceed further there are few uh, sort of a tax um, rules uh, i'll be sharing as well again i'm not a tax advisor so that means uh, please uh, consult with a qualified tax uh, accountant or uh, tax consultant to you know plan your sort of uh, way forward or you know uh, future course of action but this is something uh, which uh, just wanted to share as per my understanding my knowledge so that you help uh, it will help you to go out and uh, talk to others or you know consult with other professionals and to uh, plan your future course of action okay now why should we buy properties in a company's name rather than in your own personal name now these are the four main reasons okay let's go through it uh, one by one real quick legal shield so that means um, as you know company is a separate legal entity than an individual so that means if you hold a property uh, that means you have bought the property in your own personal name that means if there is any kind of litigation or any legal challenges happens uh, um due to that property uh, somebody can sue you personally and you would be liable personally okay um maybe maybe uh, your tenant maybe your neighbor um of that property or maybe any external third party and uh, you know because of some of your negligence or before because of any it could be any issues uh, you know somebody may sue you and in that case you will be personally be liable and responsible but if it's in a company's name then you are completely protected that means company is uh, separate than you yourself as an individual because you may be a shareholder maybe a director of the company but the company itself owns the um, the property so that means uh, the company is liable and you are not personally liable so that's the advantage of you know um, having the property in a company's name that's the advantage of um, you know companies um, formation of the company anyway so that means probably you would already know about it let's move on to the second one which is very very important which is section 24 okay if you do not know already what is section 24 you should uh, know about it if you take interest in property um, you can google it and find out but in not sell uh, section 24 i uh, was uh, something which brought in uh, i think around four years back by the chancellor um, disallowing the finance cost of financing uh, a property so that means the interest on property uh, you cannot take it as a deduction you cannot deduct from your rental income um, and uh, this was kind of a tiered way that means they applied for 75 percent then 50 percent was disallowed then 25 uh, percent disallowed from 1st of april 2020 nothing will be allowed to deduct uh, in that place uh, hmrc is saying that 20 percent will give you a tax credit what we uh, what that will lead to is uh, if you are a higher rate taxpayer you will kind of a paying um, around 20 percent more tax than we what you are paying before so that's uh, more kind of a tax you will be paying and in some cases uh, you will be losing money and paying money out of your own pocket okay that is kind of a thing where uh, HMRC wanted to discourage uh, individuals uh, you know to to create that portfolio of properties in their own name so section 24 watch out for that okay and the third thing is inheritance tax so what is inheritance tax that's quite a lot around 40 percent inheritance tax um, you know if you pass on a property when you die and you pass the, the property to your kind of uh, your kids uh, anything I think above 325,000 if the value of the property is more than 325,000 
um, anything beyond that uh, you know that is liable for inheritance tax uh, look at the percentage that's around 40 percent that's quite huge um, so you you know work hard and uh, you build a pro uh, portfolio or if you build uh, you know some assets then when you die then you know um, government wants a big chunk of it so so the inheritance tax is a big thing which uh, you know if you own or the uh, a company owns the uh, property then company does not pay uh, inheritance tax or, or the way it can be structured that company doesn't have to pay the inheritance tax and also the individual as well shareholder as well could be structured in such a way that it uh, it can completely be avoided okay and the fourth thing is capital gain tax okay cgt capital gain tax that is 28 percent for higher rate taxpayers that's that's again uh, you know quite a lot okay that means if you want to sell off that means you cannot sell uh, if you are holding it as an individual you have to pay 28 percent uh, capital gain tax whereas if you hold uh, or the property is held by a company company doesn't have a special capital gain tax that means rental income and capital uh, and uh, the um, income from selling of an asset let's say you have four property you sell one property this this year and whatever is your profit the gain um, you know you from one property um, will be uh, clubbed together with your rental income from other other properties uh, you know it is all property income there is nothing like a capital gain tax um, so and on that then uh, you know this fiscal year you will be paying 19 percent corporation tax okay so that means company pays the corporation tax day um, on rental income and also from um, the capital gain as well okay 19 percent which is much uh, lesser than um, an individual who pays the capital gain tax when he sells okay so now looking at it, uh, it, it I think it makes a lot of sense to go for a company rather than uh, you know holding the your investment in a personal name okay now even you are considering a company so there are two different kinds of companies okay one is called a limited liability partnership another is a private limited company okay so both are uh, you know kind of uh, again separate legal entities so first is a partnership kind of uh, it's called a limited liability partnership which most of the legal firms and accounting firms and you know um, are llps uh, where there are multiple um, members of that uh, you know partnership entity and uh, that is a limited li liability company private limited company where there will be uh, directors or shareholders okay so members as opposed to shareholders but both are quite tax efficient and again you just have to consider which one is the best one because llp if you hold uh, properties in llp that's really good as well because uh, you know the llps uh, you can include uh, I think it's 13 years and above if you have you know kids which are 13 years and above or once your kids reach the age of 13 they can be uh, members as well and uh, that means in that way the the asset or or the wealth could be passed on to to your kids okay and they can be members and uh, you know they can be um, so based on um, you know how much of profit and how you can allocate uh, you know your profit sharing of um, you know that that entity LLP how much profit is, is having uh, it can be distributed and so that's the most tax efficient way I think LLP and limited private limited company are uh, two different uh, ways you can you can hold your uh, investment portfolio properties um, again uh, there are a lot of things uh, to know as well of llps and uh, you know your memorandum and articles of association how do you draft it in, in such a way that you don't have conflict but uh, you know uh, this is most tax efficient way to hold hold properties um, so i guess um, i made some sense and uh, which will help you just to go ahead and gather more information um, about uh, you know the structure how do we invest um, you know or how do we hold the property so that you know you don't have to um, you know pay a lot of tax and you know to, to HMRC and uh, you know you can plan your future 
um, even uh, you know inheritance pa tax planning also you could do in the best possible way or succession planning you could do with that i am done and uh, i will until the next video over and out